Hey y'all, welcome back. Assalamu alaikum. We've got one more short video for the night. I think, yeah, I've talked about this in two videos now. I've been wanting to check this out. Uh, the title of this video is I investigated the all Muslim city that endorsed Trump and shocked the world. Um, and I believe I looked this up. It's in Michigan, I think, I, but I cannot remember the name of the town. And I just thought the title was so interesting, and especially with the state of the world. Um, and I was just curious with, uh, you know, with Muslims uh, from the United States, uh, from all over the world, uh, what their opinions may be on this. Um, from what I've read, as far as when Muslims vote, if they do vote, um, it is always um, to vote for, you know, to support Islam, what is going to help Islam in the United States. Um, and that makes sense to me. Uh, because when you vote, you should vote for what is going to help you and help your family. I absolutely agree with that. Um, I know that Donald Trump um, is incredibly uh, brash, and uh, there's been many uh, <laughs> things that have been said about him because of the way that he speaks at times and the way that he carries himself at times. Uh, many people uh, like him, especially like more so in the blue-collar sector of the United States. Um, people who tend to have uh, more physical jobs, outside jobs, things of that nature, they tend to, uh, he re Donald Trump tends to really resonate with those people. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to uh, see what this video is about and uh, just uh, see what you guys thought about it. All right, let's go. Oh, and um, I believe the gentleman's name in this video who is the interview, I believe his name is Benny Johnson. Yeah, Were people like Trump though around here? Yeah, um, my father uh, voted for Biden and he's like, no, no more. Matter of prices, probably he's seen prices gone up and he's like, man, you he think, didn't like that. You think Trump could win places like Hamtramck? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I work with my father in the office and a lot of people there are also Trump supporters that a lot of people that go there yeah. also are Trump supporters. They're former Biden supporters. Yeah. They voted for Biden, but they're now, now they're like, uh, well, Trump. You like Trump? Yeah. yeah. Too young to vote? I don't know. Yeah. How old are you? Too young? 13. Yeah, okay. 21. 21 is <laughs> <laughs> And the city council decided to vote to ban this political symbolism on public property. As to be fair, they banned all flags. I mean, you, you would go through Joe's Campo and you would see every single flag of every country. And it became a problem when, when they put up the pride flag. We're strong holders of our faith. We believe in two identities, male and female. And that's, that's how it's been for thousands of years, you know? We don't want that agenda pushed on our kids. I think that's like the majority of people on earth. Exactly. <laughs> I yes, think that's, exactly. that's the majority. Exactly, actually. majority. You know, that's, that's one of the things that I love about Islam is, um, you know, just to put it bluntly, is that Muslims, they stand on business whenever they, they when something is interfering with their faith and their belief system, um, they are vocal about it. They do not hide from it. Um, and it, that is, to me, that is the embodiment of the American spirit as well. If you believe and you know something is right and just, um, you will never stop speaking on it. You will never try, you know, you know, will never stop trying to make things right. And we saw that example, um, uh, I think it was a few years back and there was a town somewhere in the United States and they were allowing like the slander of Jesus, like all over their, their high school and all this stuff. I don't know. I don't remember the exact context, but it was pretty bad. And like, I think more than a hundred Muslims showed up to the, um, like the school board meeting or city council meeting or something like that. And, um, you know, and they were not shy, you know, they were professional, but they were not shy. And they said, you know, we're not going to stand for this. This is extreme disrespect. Um, I think like five or 10 Christians showed up as well um, to help out. Um, and I don't say it like that to pick on Christians, but I mean, we see this time and again is that Muslims, um, they, when it comes to Islam, their faith, their entire life, they are extremely vocal about that. Okay, let's go. It's like the majority of people on earth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I yeah, mean, that's, exactly. That's the majority. Exactly. Actually. Majority. I actually love this country. I've been here all my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing against it, but the pride flag, I feel like, you know, not a lot of people agree with it. This the city banned it. They must be hateful people or whatever. Simply because uh, the people who say that just consume biased media. The only flags that should be present on governmental property is the United States flag and the yeah. state flag. Welcome to Hamtramck, Michigan, the most politically controversial city in America. Hamtramck is a suburb of Detroit, population 28,000. It's the only Muslim majority city in America. In Hamtramck, 
four of the six city council members are Muslim, along with the Democrat Muslim mayor, who just enthusiastically endorsed President Trump, calling Trump a man of principle who wants peace in the Middle East. Libs are seething over this. And that's not all. The woke celebrated when a Muslim majority was elected to the city council here, but that came with some unintended consequences for the woke, wherein that Muslim majority immediately banned the pride progress flag from flying in this city. Oh no, what's happening next? We decided to travel there and find out what the most progressive Trump supporting city in the country is really like, including a shocking visit to a mosque. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. You'll notice there's uh, Arabic. The signs are like uh, half in English, half in Arabic. This uh, used to be a very Catholic, very Polish community. So you have Pope John Paul II here. So I've noticed that you have lots of the banned, according to the news headlines, <laughs> flags all over the place and you're not getting arrested. Expound on, on that. So, so the, the ordinance, which they so cruelly, cruelly did, um, to add insult to injury, they banned the flying of the pride flag during pride month. What a bunch of c***s. I'm just going to say it, I swear. So under the guise of neutrality, <laughs> the only flag they will now fly in Hamtramck is the American flag or Palmia or state flag. Do you want a flag? Yeah, you totally. <laughs> yes, I actually got one of these flags and a ham tr a band. Get one too, cameraman. Very <laughs> illegal. The city council banned the pride flag, and we were asking people what their opinion is on that. What makes they rights so special from straight people rights? What's the difference? Yeah. That's actually what the city council was saying, is we don't want, like, an agenda pushed. If a person's gay, oh, I got the right to do this, that, and a third versus a person that's straight that can't do this, that, and a third. Like, what's, uh, it don't make no sense to me, so. I mean, it's nice. We yeah, and you, you see that a lot is, um, <clears throat> you know, I'm not here to slander people, but um, from the, especially the more extreme side of the gay community in the United States, um, I want to say it's in Portland, Oregon, but they, they go so as far to, um, even like the crosswalks in the road or like they're instead of, you know, being like a white or a yellow, just like brick lines that you can easily see to walk across. Um, they had there. It's the rainbow flag colors, you know, and um, there are certain, you know, places in the United States and you just see it everywhere. Um, and it's just I don't it, it's very off putting, you know, to me, it really is. And I don't say that in a hateful way, but, um, you know, in my opinion, like that's you just should not do that. You should not be putting that propaganda all over the place, you know, and then I won't, I won't get too deep into that <laughs> on this video, but um, I'm sure that all of us um, can agree that those flags should not be all over the place. I just, I'm just not with it in anything of that nature. I just, I don't like it. This down at third, like what's, uh, it don't make no sense to me, so. I mean, it's nice. We've seen some places in Detroit that were not nice where every house is like burned down and all the streets are all ripped up. I don't know, just seems like working class nice, right? Flowers on the porch, got an American flag flying, come on. Here we go guys, a city hall that just simply has the Michigan flag, the city flag, and then the American flag flying out front of it along with a uh, POW flag uh, instead of kneeling to the cult for Pride Month, they just kept the American flag flying, so. Did you make the lemonade? Yeah, we made the lemonade. Oh, I cannot wait to have some. Are these ours? Yeah, those yeah. are ours. Yeah? Oh, can I have this one? It's hot out here, so I've been looking for some lemonade. Would you like some lemonade? I bought too many, so actually, this one's yours. Can you can you give the nice male lady a lemonade? Oh, thank you. Thank what a nice city, yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for stopping in. Yeah, awesome. Hey, what's your YouTube channel? Let's shout it uh, out. The Adventurous Entrepreneur. Adventurous Entrepreneur, yeah, all yeah. right. Hamtramck. After a refreshing lemonade break, we headed over to the local mosque to see if anyone would talk with us. The prayers had just gotten out. Nothing could have prepared us for this. For our religion, we don't we don't support it, but we don't like demolish people that, that support it and you know, just worry about your religion, be nice to people, and the world will be a good place, you know? Why can't people respect your religion? 
That's what I don't get. I it's mean, like everybody else has rights, but like, yeah. aren't you saying this is what we believe, right? All about the history, you know, to, you know, 9-11 and the 1900s and that's what people go based off of. And uh, they should go by the present, not the, the, not the past. That's right. Keep it up, man. Yep, All exactly. right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This the city bandit. They must be hateful. I wanted to speak on that real quick as well. Um, it's not a secret that in certain parts of the United States, there is um, stereotypes about uh, Muslims and um, people are, they're afraid of Muslims because um, they just see little clips uh, from the news or just whatever, or they're seeing some a conflict going on in the Middle East, and this could have been any time in the last, you know, 35 years or so, I guess. Um, and they just, they feel fear, you know what I mean? They feel like, um, like this army of people, you know, with these like masks on are just going to come and take over their town and like slaughter them and stuff, you know, and um, it, it's absurd, you know what I mean? Um, the more that we learn about Islam is that um, you, you're, the people you're dealing with are people who are constantly striving on a day-to-day -day basis to literally be like the best human they, being that they can possibly be because that's what Allah wants. That's what you get from the Quran, you know, is to obey Allah. And when you do that, um, you're not sinning, you're not hurting people, you're, you're prosperous. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's like uh, Muslims say, like, like it's like an instruction manual for life, you know what I mean? And um, I don't know. I just the more I I watch these and the more I've been thinking about it, even though I've been gone for a while, is I just I I love Islam and I love Muslims, you know. And I feel like I would even want to move in to a neighborhood, you know, in this area because so many places that you go to. Um, it's just not safe. Like where I live, um, it looks like a relatively, you know, like normal, just middle class area. But I had someone try to steal my daughter's car. Um, I think we've had like some mild vandalism in our front yard. You know, that's not too bad. That's like, you know, teenagers just being punks type of thing. But, you know, I bet in a Muslim community like that, I think it would just be awesome because I would be around so many like minded people, you know, being polite in society um, not, you know, just not being a jerk, not doing things that you're not supposed to be doing and like feeling safe around other like-minded people, you know? So yeah, I like it. Okay, let's go. Keep it up, man. Yep, All exactly. right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is a city bandit. They must be hateful people or whatever. I heard a lot about it in the you know, uh, college I go to is Wayne State University. Yeah, yeah. They talked about how Hemtramck was a hateful place and stuff like that. And I just simply don't believe it's true. The community is wonderful. I don't get it. We went to City Hall. I'm like, oh, I don't understand actually why, what's the problem with that? Yeah, I, I don't understand what's the problem with that either. I mean, this is the United States. Yeah. And people are upset about that? That's what happens when you get radicalized, yeah. I suppose. And, but we went to City Hall and it's like an American flag. Yeah. Like, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I, I actually love this country. I've been here all my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's nothing against it, but the pride flag, I feel like, you know, not a lot of people agree with it. Not a lot, a lot of people want to teach their kids. Everybody, everybody has their own opinion, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, 10 years ago was normal, wasn't it? It was normal. It just uh, everything just changed up recently. But 10 years ago, if you had this ideology, so it was normal, you know? We don't want that agenda pushed on our kids in schools. We don't want that agenda pushed on our kids in public. We don't want, we just don't want that. And, and if you stand against it, you're you're either uh, what are they? How do you're they? Bigoted. Yeah, yeah they you know. You if you stand against this, you're 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 not you're not normal. Yeah. In in today's society. We're walking down the streets. There's no abandoned houses. Like oh, nice right. like nice place. It's like a nice place to live. You see, we're all from different places. We're all brothers and sisters around here. Nobody looks at color. Nobody looks at any of that. So what's the message to people out there that want to hate on Hamtramck? What, like, what's your message to them? Man, come, come try the food, come see the people. Man, it's, it's a melting pot, you know? Yeah. It really is, it's a melting pot. And that's why even property here is skyrocketed, you know? People want to live here just because the so, agenda is not pushed on, on, on anyone. That's crazy, man. So you're telling me that the property value is skyrocketing here because people want traditional they values. Want traditional values. It's skyrocketed just because people want to live here because that agenda is not pushed on their kids. You don't see it in the street, you don't see homosexuality you don't see uh, you don't see none of that kids are always out playing they're they're not thinking of that even the kids you see them they, they see a, uh, a rainbow flag and they're like oh that's let me get away that's not that's not me you know 
And that's how it's supposed to be, man. The, the past 20 years, uh, they, 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 they threw in, they're throwing off the kids. They're, you know, it's not right. It's not right what they're doing. Yeah. I absolutely agree with him. You know, we see that agenda pushed um, on all social media platforms, like, you know, any movies that you watch or, you know, Netflix, Hulu, all that stuff. You see, and not just um, that, not just homosexuality, but all types of things that were, you know, if you're a Muslim, that is, you know, going to go uh, against what, you know, you don't want to see those things. You don't want to get those images in your mind and so on. So, um, yeah, it's wild. And to, to, this is how I would say, based off what I've seen, the majority of people, that's how they feel because it's like every year it's like a little worse, you know, they just jam the, all of this ideology, like down your throats, you know, every possible way they can. And even if you speak out against it in the most respectful manner, you know, especially if you're a prominent figure, you know, they'll come after you, they'll come after your career, you know, in, in worst case scenario, they can use lawfare and just make up crimes against you. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's crazy. It, it really is scary. It doesn't even seem like real life because, um, even I was, you know, quite a bit younger, but like the eighties and nineties, I just don't remember this type of agenda being pushed on people, you know? Um, okay. We're almost done with the video. Let's go ahead and uh, watch the rest of it. They're throwing off the kids there. You know, it's not right. It's not right what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, people like Trump though around here? Yeah. Um, my a father uh, voted for Biden and he's like, no, no more. I mean, I work with my father in the office and a lot of people there are also Trump supporters that a lot of people that go there yeah. also are Trump supporters. They're former Biden supporters. Yeah. They voted for Biden, but they're now, now they're like, uh, well, Trump. You like Trump? Yeah. yeah. Too young to vote? I don't know. Yeah. How old are you? Too young? 13. Yeah, okay. 21. 21 is it? <laughs> <laughs> nicest people you could ever meet it's amazing so that's what we found in hamtramck the most hateful town in the world that these guys just want to fly an american flag and they're like what's wrong with just flying an american flag on city property that's it and then everybody else can do whatever they want on private property actually strangely seems like the way it should be everywhere right leave the city property for the nation we live in, right? The one thing that we can all agree upon, right up there. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, so um, I wish that was longer and that they, he could have done a lot more interviews and gone in, you know, gone into the mosque and um, just, you know, talk to people and explored a bit more. Um, I, I don't know if he had a time issue or what was going on, but I, I would love to see something like that, especially in that town. Uh, shout out to Ham Tramick, right? Yeah, y'all are doing it right. Um, that's an inspiration for other people to look at. That community is clearly uh, bound together. They stand together. Um, it's a, an amazing thing to watch. Um, and many Americans um, should take note of that uh, because that is what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah, um, the election is closing in, uh, November 5th, right? I haven't, um, I don't really keep up with politics because it's so ugly and nasty, um, that I feel like it, it's like bad for your brain. You know, it can give you like anxiety and just anger. And, um, so I try not to stay too deep into it, but I think the it's basically, you know, everyone knows, uh, with this election coming up, it's, uh, Kamala Harris, you know, versus Donald Trump for the presidency. Um, <clears throat> Uh, it's, it's wild. <laughs> uh, like I said, this isn't a political channel and I'm not an ultra political guy. Uh, but you know, the general consensus basically is, you know, if you're for traditional values and you're more conservative, um, you know, then of course you're probably going to be voting for Donald Trump. And if you're way more on the, the liberal side, you know, abortion, uh, homosexuality, transgender, like, um, Many, many things you're those types of folks are most you know more likely to vote for uh kamala harris um <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see what happens you know um i know that you know for muslims especially you know there's like geo world politics involved as well stuff that's way above my pay grade i have no you know no idea on the different reasons why they may vote for for someone else or another i'm sure it, it gets complex you know at higher levels but um, I'll be honest. I'm hoping that, um, I'm hoping that Donald Trump will win, um, this time around, uh, because if he does not, I, I fear that our taxes will go through the roof and, um, you know, just, it's just our, our cities are more and more dangerous. 
Um, it's like impossible to buy a house now because of the interest rates, uh, Reba, right? Reba, um, they're so high that it's like, <laughs> you can't afford anything, you know? Um, I've been saving and saving and saving for like, I don't even know how many years. And, um, you know, and as the, those interest rates keep going up and our taxes increase, you know, it just makes, I got to save longer and longer and longer. You know, I live in a, a fairly small house. So, uh, my dream for my wife and I is to, you know, to one day we've like our, our dream house, you know, can we get like a 2000 or a 2,400 square foot house? And can, you know, what if we could get like a one acre lot, you know, we always talk about that and everything. So. Uh, but we'll get there. Um, I just honestly, you know, I'll, I'll close this out. I hope in the end, um, I know Donald Trump has said that he will immediately stop the war in uh, Ukraine and as well as um, the uh, conflict with Palestine and Israel. Um, he said over and over, they've tried to get his opinions on whose side do you take. And I don't really think I've seen him strongly take a lot of sides and stances his main answer is always like, I want people to stop dying. Um, I've heard him say that several times and I believed his sincerity in that, you know, because, um, he does have the power and the influence for that to be possible to happen. Um, I hope that is what happens. Um, I fear that if the Democrats win again, um, that we will continue the war in Ukraine will continue. Um, Palestine will continue to, uh, you know, be bombarded, um, Man, I, I've seen some videos out of Palestine and it's bad. It's so bad. I, I know that you guys are fully aware of that. It's like, it's sickening to, to trap people in like that. Like they're caged in, you know, starved, no power, um, just bombs and missiles and grenade launchers just constantly coming in there. You know, it's, it's wrong. That is straight up evil. It doesn't matter what your opinion is. It is, it is sick. It is genuinely sick. Um, I hope that that stops. I pray that that stops immediately. <clears throat> I know we all do. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I can go off. I, I can just keep going off and off and on a tangent all night about these type of topics. But uh, uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Um, if you have any opinions about that, um, that you feel you can educate me uh, more on, you know, uh, Muslims' opinions on the American election, I think that would be cool. Um, and then in the next video, we will continue on with the uh, Prophets and Messengers of Allah series. Uh, and again, that should be either probably late tomorrow night or on Saturday. Um, so thanks again, guys. Um, I hope you have a, a blessed Friday and I'll see you all soon.